Guys, welcome back into Mountain Dog Companion. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the four major differences between F1B Mini Bernadoodles and F1 Bernadoodles. First off, we're gonna talk about coat type um, and stick around for the last reason because that one's the almost most important one. So first off, talking about coat type, coat difference. So on the left, we have an F1 Mini Bernadoodle, and on the right, we have an F1B. Now this F1B is about a week and a half older compared to the F1. So both are minis. Uh, both parents, uh, the one's a Mount Bernice Mountain Dog, which is um, the F1 here. And the mom of Hero here on the right is, for the F1B, is a Mini Bernadoodle. So an F1 Mini Bernadoodle mixed with a poodle compared to a Bernice Mountain Dog mixed with a poodle. So both are tri-colors, both are absolutely phenomenal looking, uh, both have similar conformation, um, and one of the biggest differences is that coat texture. So I don't know how well you can see, I know Hero just wants to go, but you'll definitely see more curl coming through on Hero. You'll see um, a little bit more of a straighter, wavier coat compared to, um, compared to Hero here. Um, for this little man Echo. Um, so you got definitely more curl, more of a thicker poodle type curl coming through here for Hero on the right and more of a straight wavy coming through for Echo on the left, which kind of gives more of that Bernice Mountain Dog look. So the closer you get to a poodle, the more curl you're gonna get. Okay guys, reason number two is coloration. So we got sweet little Peach here on the right. She is a chocolate. Harlequin Merle uh, Mini from the same litter as Hero. And then we still got Mr. Echo here on the left. Um, and both, so here, or Echo here, he is an F1. Peach is an F1B. And the second reason or second difference is the coloration. So um, when you mix a poodle with an F1 Bernadoodle, you can do a lot more with uh, the gene pool and you can get more of that phantom look you can get that chocolate look, you can get all of those variations and combinations. Whereas your uh, Bernadoodles, uh, your first generation Bernadoodles, typically the biggest kind of thing you can do. What's up, Hero? What's up, big man? Um, so the biggest thing you can really do with your F1s is more uh, your tricolor, standard tricolor. You can do blue merles too, uh, which have like the gray and darker, uh, darker gray, it's kind of spotted look. Um, so you can do those tricolors, but it's harder to get um, kind of different variations uh, compared to your F1Bs. So you can do all sorts of uh, sorts of stuff with your F1 or F1Bs. Um, sorry, I think I said that wrong. Your F1s are just a little bit more challenging compared to your F1Bs to get different types of coloration. So you'll see all sorts of different combinations. You'll see mostly white Bernadoodles um, when you come to like get to the F1Bs. You'll see the chocolates. You'll see um, your tricolors like Hero. Um, you can go all over the place with, with that combination. Okay guys, reason number three um, is size. So um, right now we got Olive here on the left. She's a female. She's the biggest girl in her litter but she's also a week and a half younger compared to Peach. So Peach here um, weighs probably, I would say a solid half pound less um, compared to the two, or like compared to the two in weight. So you'll definitely get a little bit more of a petite body shape and overall just not quite as heavy boned, heavy set um, when it comes to your F1Bs. Whereas your F1s are closer though, they're 50-50 with a Bernice Mountain Dog and a Poodle. So you'll see a little bit of a heavier set, a little bit of a stockier, um, just overall more weight there uh, for your F1s compared to your F1Bs since they are closer uh, to your Bernice Mountain Dog. So again, the further away you get from the Bernice Mountain Dog, the less they'll be like a Bernice Mountain Dog. So your Bernice Mountain Dog is huge, they're heavy set, they're stocky, um, and your poodle is very slim and petite and kind of like more put together like that. Um, so you'll definitely see that come out in your F1Bs compared to your F1s. Okay guys, reason number four. I personally think it's the most important one, uh, but you tell me which one you think is the most important one. Reason number four, we got shedding. So your F1s being closer, hey buddy, 
F1s being closer to um, the Bernice Mountain Dog, you'll see a little bit more shedding. Mostly in the spring and in the fall, uh, they kind of go through phases. So you'll see a little bit of dander here and there uh, going around. But with your F1Bs being 75% Poodle and 25% Bernice Mountain Dog, you'll see way, way less shedding. You'll barely see anything. They're more hyperallergenic, or hypoallergenic. Um, they're just a little bit better as far as shedding and everything uh, to do with that. And you'll definitely see uh, it kind of tying back into like your coat texture. So more of a curly coat compared to a straight or wavy coat. Um, so you'll definitely see that difference. Um, and that kind of plays into um, your shedding as well. So oftentimes if the dog's more curly, you'll see less shedding. If it's straighter coat um, or not even, sometimes not even fully furnished, you'll see more shedding. Um, so all of these guys are of course furnished completely um, and have all those like, you see more hair on the legs, you'll see it more around the nose and around the side on both on both litters, um, but you'll see a straighter, wavier coat compared to um, here on the left compared to your F1B on the right. So um, again, this is Olive and Peach. They're from uh, two of our current litters right now. Um, and Peach here, she's an F1B, um, Harley Quinn Chocolate Merle. And then we got a, st a standard tri-color uh, mini, uh, but your traditional tri, I should say, not standard, uh, traditional tri mini. Um, her name's Olive here. She is from uh, Maisie and Firestone's litter. So that'll do it for today's video. That's the four major differences between an F1 and an F1B mini burner noodle. Um, we went over size, we went over color, we went over uh, color, we went over coat texture, and then we also went over the shedding part of it. Uh, let me know what you guys think and another thing, uh, or if you guys know of a different difference that I didn't talk about, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys have any questions to see which uh, breed would fit for you um, or would be the best fit for you, let me know. I'd love to help you out. Again, my name is Jay Miller here at Mountain Dog Companion. My number is 330 p Thanks for tuning in to today's video, and I'll hope to see you guys next time. Merry Christmas, and take care.